how much do you know about Australia's current illicit drug policy? Only a minimum amount. I um, would know nothing. Honestly, nothing, really. I know that there's a lot of things we need to change in the policy, and I know that there's a lot of things that are, we are doing right in the policy. I don't know. I don't know much about it. You'll die if you take drugs. <laughs> we just know it's bad. <laughs> do you think the ways that illicit drugs and drug users are currently treated is the most effective? No, because there's still a lot of drug crimes in Australia, so... Nope. No, being fine is not going to make you stop a habit, so I don't think it's effective at all. Not necessarily. Like, we see people going to prison for just simple sort of stuff that should be dealt with, sort of like a misdemeanor and, and not really ruining lives for the, the choice of one night of partying. It's, it's wrong and we should change, change it so we're not treating these people as harshly as we are. Uh, can you think of better methods of dealing with illicit drugs and drug users? Mandatory rehabilitation. Getting them more help, I guess. Teaching people what's bad about it, what's um, the benefits of sort of rehabilitation can be if they have problems. Is it time to make a change? I think it'd be good, good if you, to stop things like um, problems where they're not selling actual drugs, where they're selling like stuff that's bad for yeah, you and cheap stuff. Cheap cheap stuff. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it would be good to regulate yeah. that a bit more and if it was legal it would work like that. It would have a sort of standard for that. There's a lot better ways to sort of making it safer as in sort of decriminalising, allowing people to get sort of the help um, allowing people to access better health care and better sort of mental health. Well I know there's a lot of success in Europe with actually legalising the use of illicit drugs at music festivals and whatnot in order to um, have some control over the quality of the drugs to ensure that not many people die from using it so I think that could be an effective thing in Australia as well. Yeah.